You're going to have to go like this to get the Ritz out from behind your teeth, push it into your mouth to re-eat it again. We know that you're a big charcuterie guy. Um, I the saw you go Lord. live last night. The Boar Lord, some would say. Many All would say. Would say. Would say. I would say. Pat had to Google how to say prosciutto before this, so we want to know who has the better board at a tailgate. The pimento cheese ball shaped like a football. Chicken wings, I think that's a must. Um, some celery, carrots. I've never heard a more Ohio Midwestern board <laughs> than the one you just... <laughs> That literally, we could throw I some like, Gouda cheese on there. I mean, I the fact that you said Gouda made it more higher end is hilarious, <laughs> and it made it even more Midwest. I don't know about wings on a board; they're just gonna get cold. I like the football cheese shape. You know, the cheese shaped as a football. I do like that. I would say yours is just a very, um, very Myers Market chic. You have the right intention. Yeah. For your board. Well, that's all I can ask for. Okay. You're the board lord. So. That's true. So this is de <laughs> definitely knew how to pronounce both charcuterie and per, per, oh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Great. Ritz crackers. I'm a big Ritz crackers guy. You open with Ritz crackers, Pat? Someone said does a board and they go, "Well, I like." You've already fucked up. I, I got some pepperoni on there. Okay. Some apple slices, pistachios. Low Prosciutto, I believe, is the is the pronunciation, right and and our producer Sandra is letting me know this is a lunchables. <laughs> so, uh, You've made a lunchable. Yeah, you got to yes. throw a high C in there. Here's yeah. the problem with that board: you need to be able to dance around the board with a drink in hand and the other hand doing your eating. The mm. problem with the mm. Ritz cracker is that it gets stuck behind your teeth. At some point, you're going to have to go like this to get the Ritz out from behind your teeth, push it into your mouth to re-eat it again. It's disgusting when you explain it, but I understand if you like a Ritz cracker, you like that game. Now You, you like have it twice. Yeah, you like it twice. Now you have a finger that has been put into your mouth, pushed against your gums, and now it is going back onto the board. COVID friendly. Yes. Some would not say. Yes. COVID friendly. It's <laughs> just not friendly in the least. Just generally unfriendly. Yeah. And I'm a pretty friendly person. So yeah, that's as, right. soon as, as, as soon as, as soon as I realize the Ritz cracker flaw, I just, I just need to apologize to both of you really. Cause I'm, I'm sorry for, for putting you in this position to have to explain You've the Ritz cracker. You've insulted my imagination. 